Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We're going to take you on a Prague City tour. Now this is a compilation of three weeks, so there's going to be a lot of costume changes. <laughs> and a lot of set decoration. <laughs> but here's our tour of Prague. Let's roll. Today is our first day in Prague and we are out walking around and we are very excited because we have friends who are going to just stay with us briefly and here they are! Hi! Hello! That's Avital and this is Ben. So you will see them with us for part of our time in Prague. They're not here for very long but they're here to visit so we're excited. We're in the Jewish quarter of Prague. The Pinchas Synagogue contains the entrance to the Old Jewish Cemetery, Europe's oldest surviving Jewish graveyard. Founded in the early 15th century, it has a palpable atmosphere of mourning even after two centuries of disuse. It was closed in 1787. However, this is one of Prague's most popular sites, so if you're hoping to have a moment of quiet contemplation, you'll probably be disappointed. Around 12,000 crumbling stones, some brought from other long-gone cemeteries, are heaped together, but beneath them are perhaps 10,000 graves piled in layers because of the lack of space. So because of the kind of tomb this is, or reverence maker, um, this is some kind of a rabbi. People leave stones and coins, and some of them leave like little notes on top. All right, so we just came out of the cemetery right through those gates and we went we're going into the Clausen synagogue and I'm not sure what this building over here is but it looks very old The Jewish Museum. That's some of the cemetery up there.
This is the old new synagogue built in 1200s. Yeah, it's old. synagogue here right next to a Christian church right there. Pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen a pipe organ in a synagogue. It's not like I go to a lot of synagogues. But Guys have opened on us. Makes things just a little slippery. Yes. But careful. luckily, they're little small stones, so you can, your feet grip a little bit better than if they were the big cobblestones out there. But it's not like coming down real heavy. It's not drizzling, but it's at an annoying pace. <laughs> Crazy cow steakhouse. Don't know how expensive that is we're looking for a place to eat there's a little patisserie boulangerie over there and oh, this cool building is really cool but check this out it's a little james dean cafe little waitresses are all dressed up like little diner people like u.s type that there's a little pizza kebab corner store well it's not really the corner we're going through for a walk through the park we took a tram to another tram us up a hill. It's pretty over here. Looks like a little TikTok, like a big metronome. I came across their technology museum. And then there's another museum over here. Looks like more technology museum. I can see like tractors over here. This is what it looks like on an old trail. Such cool architecture here too. I think we found the TV tower. You can see like, look, they have like little kids or statues of little kids climbing up that tower. So I got a fresh lemon raspberry juice we've been here twice she's really nice she's given us pointers on the places to go and this is right here in the his vloggy no that's not right market i'll look it up we can type it down below It's a church. We think the door is open. I think we might go in and take a look. But we are near the city center. So everything seems so much older in this area.
So we got the powder gate straight ahead. Built in, when was it built? Built a long time ago. 1400. 1400. Part of the city walls at one time. Yep. That's cool. I see the little walk across. Of course, I've got a light pole in the way. But... No, you need to see people walk across there. The brakes are closed. No. Is it Yep. Everybody's looking. Look at the silly <laughs> tourists. The church. <laughs> Okay, this is one of the more unique modern buildings in Prague. They call it the Fred and Ethel, the Wilma and Barney, I don't know. Fred and Ginger building, I think. Looks more like a Lucy and Ricky building to me. Just saying. Just beautiful architecture here. We came out over here for breakfast because we heard about it on The Honest Guide. Mm. And lo and behold, look who we found. <laughs> yeah. People quite often say, you shouldn't show the places because too many tourists will come there. And then we won't have a place to sit, yet I still visit the places that I recommend. So I'm happy you guys came. And we're thrilled and we love what you, Yannick, and Hansa provide to people who want to come to your city. It's wonderful. Thank you. So thank you. we thank you very much and I'm sure uh, many people out there also thank you. So. Yeah. Well, thank we you, and uh, if you come to Prague, uh, enjoy coffee here. And did you guys know that there, that's our bell over there? Oh, really? We're yes. Gonna go so, see it. so there, up there in the left tower, is the honest bell. I'll get it when I... And it's gonna ring at 6 p.m. So if you're around at 6 p.m., it's gonna ring. It's a small 85 kilo bell that I we contributed, the... or I saw the... our viewers contributed yes. to. Yep. So, so that's up there. Yeah, we saw that. We thought that was the best thing ever. So, yay! I'm so excited. So come here at 6 p.m. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll do that. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you. Yannick took off in a hurry. He's off to chase the guy walking in front of him. Apparently he's a scammer. So that's what the honest guy does. Track down scammers. Good luck, Yannick. Guess who we just saw the tail end of catching the bad guy. Way to go! <laughs> So he did have two hundred dollars on him. Oh, yeah. So he did nice. Wow. But there's, it's going to be tough to to. to, to if you run into two Americans that are missing two hundred dollars, I have the person. Oh stole. no! The Belarusian. Uh, so they need to find the victim. Yeah. Okay. You can pretend to be the victim. <laughs> These are cool seat covers out in this cafe. Barbecue zebra. I'm confused. Hmm. We 
were up over there where those umbrellas are next to the park having a drink the other day. You can kind of see a little bit of a wall. That's where the stairs go down from the park that we were at. And there's the big metronome. Along the river, they've got this nice little park you can sit in and where they have monuments and artwork. And they're having an international music festival. These are some of the artists. They have billboards on all the artists that are going to be performing here at the music hall and during the festival. And a statue of Anton Dvorak, right out front of the music hall. Well, we're definitely doing something unique tonight. We are actually going to the main concert hall here in Prague to see the Bamberg Symphony Orchestra. So that should be interesting. I'm not gonna be able to take a lot of video. I'll try to sneak some video with my iPhone, but they kind of frown on recording, stuff like that. So. We'll see how it goes. We'll be able to hear Well, we just got back from the symphony and oh my goodness. I was like, oh my gosh, and oh my goodness together. Yes. <laughs> that was interesting. But it was wonderful. And it had been a long time since I'd gone to a concert like that and it was wonderful. The building inside, I mean, just that by itself. and. Then the musicians were amazing, and the sound, and the acoustics, and I mean, Kevin and I were just blown away. We loved it. Um, we weren't able to take any live pictures or video while it was going. I did manage to just record a little bit, so Law we get breaker. a little bit of snippet, but we're not Hi. trying to we're not trying to sell it or make any money off of it. We just want to capture it and we love it so maybe we'll play a little bit during this and you can enjoy it too but it was wonderful so tell me about the conductor oh my goodness <laughs> we think he got all of his 10,000 steps in tonight at the concert because I had never seen this before but he went back and forth so many times like they'd play something he'd stand up everybody would clap he would walk out, everybody would still be clapping, and he'd walk back in, he'd bow, he'd, you know, point to everybody else on the stage, and then he'd walk out, and then he'd walk back in, and he'd do that like five times between every single piece. So we just started like giggling, because <laughs> it was just, wow, why? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They were very good musicians. I would highly recommend. We didn't realize we would be here during the music International Music Festival, so we kind of lucked out. So. Actually, we planned it that way. <laughs> it was scheduled. We, we knew it was here, and we wanted to see it, so we, yeah. <laughs> Peanut gallery back there. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, well. It was wonderful. Highly recommended. All right. 
we're in Wenceslas Square. It's more of a rectangle, but this is one of the tourist areas. That is the Prague Museum. We haven't gone in there because we're kind of museumed out at this point. And that is a statue of, I think, St. Wenceslas, due to this being Wenceslas Square. Why would it be anybody else? Here's one of the metro stops. This place does have a metro that goes through this area. Connects the rest of Prague if you're not taking a tram. It's a little faster than the tram, but it's not as scenic. And there's the museum. And they have a national museum, more modern, next to the old one. So they got... One's... okay. So that's the National Museum, and this is the Bohemian Museum. This view you have looking down the square, like I said, rectangle, will take you to Old Town, or Old, Old Town Square, where the clock is, which is where we are going now. So we're going for a walk, and they have these little no. passages all along just this normal street. This is actually at the far end behind me, we saw Wenceslas Square and the museums. And now we're walking toward the um, Old Town Square. And on the way, we stopped over here earlier. Kevin was gonna look at some Levi's. And he found some, tried them on, they fit fine. Then he looked at the price tag and they were, how much? $140. So, it seems like it's kind of like it is in France, where if they have to um, import something and it's from the U.S., you basically get charged for all of that in whatever it is you're buying. I'm thinking Sarah wants to take a hack at it. It's a limited edition coin. It's worth 20 crown, krona. Which is and, one US dollar. And it's, uh, this is the first president of Czech Republic. Cool. On the front. And it's limited edition, so. So you're, you're, you're chipping for money. Yeah. And got all these little alleyways that lead to restaurants. <laughs> and this is a cool little alley right here. It's been around for, I think, a couple centuries because we're coming up to the clock. You can actually see the clock through the buildings. Yeah, that's the Starbucks. And then right outside of the Starbucks, you go through this old arch area. And there's the clock. This is a big tourist area. In fact, most people here are tourists. So there are what looks like two clocks, actually three clocks, because the, there's one up at the top, which is a normal clock. And then the two that are down below together, the one at the lower side, that shows uh, the months and on the little light blue section all the way around shows the days of the year, which are named, but not how we would normally name them. And then the, the round pictures show what would be happening here. And this, at the time that this was built, it, would, it shows what is going on with the people. So if they're planting seeds or sowing or um, sowing the fields, things like that, it shows that, it depicts that picture for that month. And then it also shows the astrological symbols within the inner circle. The clock up above is the astronomical clock that has all kinds of different symbols that mean different things, which I could go on here. It's uh, very time consuming and extensive to explain it all. So you'll have to look that up on your own. I don't know if you can see that, but they've got some screen over the clock. I think it's to keep the pigeons off because there's a ton of pigeons in this city. And that's Prague Cathedral, I think. I think that's the official cathedral of Prague. It's actually behind some 
newer buildings, but it's still pretty from waist up, I should say. Okay, you can get roasted pork over there, but it's so overly priced. There's other places throughout the city you can get it, so try to avoid that. If you watch the Honest Guide, he'll tell you, don't get it there. This is the square. I'm just gonna do a, a 360 in the middle. I'll try to do it slow enough so you can see things. If you wanna stop and pause it, go ahead and stop and pause it. If something gets your attention. Love the colors. Yeah, a lot of good colors in here. It's a beautiful square. Like I said, very touristy. You get carriage rides from the square too. Just one million dollars. This is the Lenin Wall. Now, while John Lennon never came to Prague, this wall symbolized the Czechoslovakians' rebellion against the Communist Party. And the Communists would come in and they would paint over this, and they'd come back and they'd paint his picture again. And this went on for quite a few years. So that's the story behind this wall. This is the Old Town. And this street leads to the Charles Bridge. One of the cool things about this bridge is they've got all these statues of saints. I think they're saints on this. Along this bridge, you've got artists trying to sell their, their prints and their paintings, and you've got some caricature artists that'll make a caricature of you if you want, for whatever reason. People seem to need to touch this statue. I don't know why, but people are always touching it. And there's another thing people have to touch. I don't understand it. Touch the lamppost next to it, much more important. This is from the middle of Charles Bridge, looking north. And this is in the middle of the Charles Bridge, looking south. And we're coming to the gate at the other end of the bridge. It's not really a gate, but it's an arch.
Well, we hope you enjoyed that romp around Prague. We were here three weeks and I don't think we got to see all of it or see m most of it. There's a lot to see. I mean, the city's huge. We just, I mean, we saw a lot of downtown, Old Town, um, the castle side, the other side. I mean, we saw a lot, but Prague is huge and most tourists aren't going to get to those areas no. anyway. So we did get out outside the city a little bit. So we were able to maneuver in and around the city. We saw a few things that maybe some regular tourists wouldn't see. So I feel like we got to see a little bit more of Prague. Well, thanks for watching and we hope you join us again for another rousing round of the Global Geezers. Bye. Bye. Because <laughs> we're not made of sugar. We're not gonna melt. And it's actually kind of refreshing. What? You're not made of sugar? <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> you fooled me all these years. <laughs> the plane, the plane. So weird. I'm weird. Yes. <laughs> You're weird. I'm stuck with you too. Yeah, you All married me. Weirdness. Yep. You're stuck married. with me for life. Yeah. Till death sure. do us part, so don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. You know our timing. Of rebellion against the uh, <laughs> the dogs barking. Okay. What are we waiting for? Pretty hair all down. Doesn't she look pretty? She's so pretty. She's mine. <laughs> you have your shoes? Yeah, I know. <laughs>